for YouTube, what's going on? I'm gonna be doing a walkthrough on the ice room on the Ayakmi. I'm gonna start with this room. I already done the blue room. And there's another room in this trial called Blaster. I'm gonna do this one too, probably. Deploy and hack into Windows machine. I'm gonna start. If you're not connecting with the attack box attached to this room, you can connect via OpenVPN. But uh, you can read this. I'm not gonna cover it. And we're gonna start already deploy the machine. Okay, so launch a scan against our target machine. I recommend using a scene scan to scan all ports on the machine. The scan command will be provided as a hint. However, it's recommended to complete our, the room and map prior to this room. Okay, I'm gonna uh, launch a scan. Actually, don't need this. And let's make this bigger. And map. Okay, let's start with the scene scan. I'm gonna do minus P minus to scan all ports, and I'll also do T4 to make it faster. Uh, I'm probably gonna add minus A to make it more aggressive. And I'm also gonna do ON to output the scan. I'm gonna call it uh, first scan.txt. And I'm gonna be right back when this scan finishes. So the scan has finished. Let's check that we have the file. Okay, at first scan. Okay, we have the file. Okay, let's see all the ports. Once the scan completes, we'll see a number of interesting ports open on this machine. As you might have guessed, the file has been disabled with the service completely shut down, leaving very little to protect this machine. One of the more interesting ports is the open Microsoft Remote Desktop MSRDP. What port is this on? MSRDP 3389. Uh, RDP. Okay, what service did NMAP identify as running on port 8000? First word of this service. Okay, port 8000 is going to be ice cast streaming media server. Okay, what does NMAP identify as the host name of this machine? All caps for the answer. It's going to be dark PC. Okay, gain access, exploit the target vulnerable service to gain a foothold. Now that we've identified some interesting services running on our target machine, let's do a little of a little bit of search into one of the weirder services identified IceCast. This version running on our target is heavily flawed and has a high level of vulnerability with a score of 7.5. What is the impact? Score for this vulnerability, use CV details for this question and the next. I'm gonna go on CVE. Yes, I'm gonna look here for IceCast. We're probably gonna talk about the last one. Impact score 6.4. Okay, we got the right one. What is the CV number for this vulnerability? CV number. The right one from the beginning. Okay, now that we've found our vulnerability, let's find our exploit, MSF uh, console. Let's open a new tab, MSF console. Now that we've found our vulnerability, let's find our exploit for this section of the room. We'll use Metasploit module associated with this exploit. Let's go ahead and start Metasploit using the command MSF console. After Metasploit is started, let's search for our target exploit using the command command search ice cast. Uh, what is the full path starting starting with exploit for the exploitation module if you are not familiar with Metasploit take a look at the Metasploit uh, module search ice cast okay use zero options 
Let's answer the first question. Okay, let's go ahead and select this module. Type either the command use the following. Selecting our module, we have to check what options we have set on the command show options, which is the one required setting, which is currently blank. It's going to be our hosts. We'll take the IP. Set G our hosts to set it globally and set the IP. Okay, first let's check that the host option is set to a tune zero IP. Okay, set and host share options. Okay, it's gonna choose the interface card. You can use the TH0 in this case uh, turn zero. And with that done, let's set the last option to our target IP. Now we have everything ready to go. Let's run our exploit using the command exploit or run. The following option is invalid. Okay, my IP address. Forget the tune zero. Just gonna set what I already know. And exploit. Okay, start the reverse TCP handler. We got a metal paper shell that fast. Uh, enumerate the machine and find potential privilege escalation paths to gain admin powers. Who have gained a footnote into our victim machine? What's the name of the shell we have now? Metal paper. Okay, what user was running the icecast box process? The commands used in this mode in this question and the next few are taken directly from the metasplit module. And I'm gonna okay, get your ID. Okay, Doc. What build of Windows is the system? I'm gonna use this info. What build? Oh, build 7601. Now that we know some of the final details of the system we are working with, let's start escalating our privileges. First, what is the architecture of the process we're running? says 86 but uh, whatever okay now that we know the architecture of the process let's perform some further recon while this doesn't work the best on x64 machines let's run the following command run post let's run this post exploitation module i'm gonna uh, back on this shell this session and Search use zero. No, no. Uh, okay. This can appear to hang as it's test exploits and might take several minutes to complete. Uh, on the local exploit or suggester or return few. Options set session. Don't forget to set the session and now run it. And it's gonna suggest all the possible post exploitation modules uh, for this vulnerability. It's gonna take a few minutes, and I'm gonna be right back when it finishes. I'm gonna search for the exploits. Uh, okay, we have nine exploits we can use. Running the local, local exploit suggester will return a few, quite a few results for potential exploitation, escalation exploits. What is the full path starting with exploit? For the first return exploit, okay. Bypass UAC event explorer. The first one. Now that we have an exploit in mind for elevating our privileges, let's background our current session using the command control Z. Are you serious, bro? Okay, so uh, this type of stuff happens. I'm gonna come back to where I am right now. So I'm back. Um, I have to do it uh, again. Okay, now that we have an exploit in mind for elevating our privileges, let's background our current session using the command background or control Z. Take a note what session number we have. This will likely be one in this case. We can list our active sessions using the command session when outside the metropolitan. Just check. Okay, we have 
only one session, I'm not sure if I had uh, one or two sessions, but set session one. Now go ahead to select a previously found exploit. Okay, local exploits require a session to be selected. Something we can verify with the command show options. Set this now using the command set session. Now that we've set our session number, for the options will be uh, revealed in the options menu. We'll have set one or one more as our listener IP is incorrect. It is the name of this option. L host, but the L host is probably correct. Yeah, it's correct. After we've set this last option, we can run our privilege escalation exploit. Run this exploit. Okay, this might take a few attempts and you need may need to relaunch the box and exploit the service in the case that this fails. Okay, complete. Following completion of the privilege escalation, new session will be open. Interact, interact with it now using command session, session number already in the session. You can now verify that we have ex expanded permissions using the command get privs. What permission listed allows us to take up privs? Ownership of files. Okay, maybe this one. Okay. Looting. Mimicates. Learn how to gather additional credentials and crack the saved ashes on the machine. Prior to further action, we need to move to a process that actually has the permissions that we need to interact with the ELSA service, the service responsible for authentication within the within Windows. First, let's leave the processes using the PS command. Note that we can see processes being run as anti-authority as we have escalated permissions, even though our process doesn't. Run PS. Now, in order to interact with ELSAS, we need to be living in a process that is the same architecture as the ELSA service, x64 in the case of this machine, and a process that has the same permissions as ELSAS. The printer spool service happens to meet our needs perfectly uh, for this, and it will start if we crash. What's the name of the printer service? Okay, the name of the printer service will be spool sv migrate to the process now with the command migrate minus n for the name you can use migrate without the minus n and uh, migrate to the number and you're gonna migrate to it I'm gonna do minus n okay now that we can okay, get here again Anti authority. Okay, now that we've uh, made a way to full administrator permissions, we'll set our sights on looting. Mimikatz is a rather infamous password dumping tool that is incredibly useful. Load it using the command load kiwi. Kiwi is the updated version of Mimikatz. Okay, load kiwi. On the Kiwi, in our metropolis and session, we'll expand our help menu. Take a look at the newly added section of the help menu where the command help. Okay, you have all the Kiwi commands right here, which command allows us to retrieve credentials. Retrieve all credentials, creds underscore all. Run this command. What is Dark's password? Mimikatz allows us to steal the password out of memory even without the user Dark logged, logged in as there is a scheduled task that runs the Icecast as the user Dark. It also helps the Windows Defender. It helps that Windows Defender isn't running on the box. Take a look at, again at the PS list. This box isn't the, in the best shape with both the firewall and Defender disabled. Okay. PS list. PS.
What they want us to see? What is Dalek's password? Okay, post exploitation. Uh, explore post exploitation actions we can take on Windows. Before we start our post post exploitation, let's visit the help menu one last time in the way to open to shell. We'll answer the following questions using that menu. What command allows us to dump all of the password hashes stored on the system? It's this one, no, it's not this one. While more useful, while when interacting with the machine being used, what command allows us to watch the remote user's desktop in real time? It's going to be screen share. How about if we want to record the microphone attached to the system? Uh, I think microphone record mic to complicate forensics uh, efforts we can modify timestamps of files on the system what command allows us to do this don't ever do this on a pen test unless you're explicitly allowed to do so this is not beneficial to the defending team and they'll try to break down the events of the pen test after the act okay well i can modify It's going to be time stamp. Mimikets allows us to create what's called the golden ticket, uh, allowing us to authenticate anywhere with this. What command allows us to do these golden tickets attacks are a function within Mimikets which abuses the component to Kerberos, the authenticating system in Windows domains. The ticket granting ticket, in short, golden ticket, allows us to maintain persistence and authenticate as any user on the domain. What command allows us to do this? Okay, let's go to the Kiwi commands. Kerberos, uh, create a ticket. Okay, golden ticket, create. One last thing to note, as we have the password for the user dark, we can now authenticate to the machine and access it via the remote desktop at this workstation. We'd likely kick whatever user is signed into or off if we connect to it. However, it's always interesting to remote into machines and view them as their users do. If this hasn't already been enabled, we can enable it using the uh, Metasploit module, run post windows, enable RDP. Okay. Back out the session. Okay, we got the session. Okay, so we exploited the machine. We have uh, four sessions. But uh, in the last task, explore menu exploitation via exploit code, find on exploit DB. Here's the link. To learn more about alternative exploitation methods, check out the sequel to the Sound Blaster. As you advance in your pen testing skills, you will be faced eventually with exploitation without the usage of Metasploit, uh, creating your own pay payloads with uh, using exploit DB and uh, creating your own ones. Uh, provided the link above is one of the exploits found on ExploitDB for hijacking IceCast for remote code execution. While not required for this room, it's recommended to attempt exploitation with the provided code or via another similar exploit to further on your skills. For this room, I'm not actually going to do this and uh, we'll finish this room. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, please make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share with your friends. Uh, I'm going to do a lot of uh, rooms like this, I'm gonna create a bunch of videos on a lot of dip different topics, not only walkthroughs. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next one.